Hey guys, Jeremy here, and today I have another tutorial for you. We're going to be learning about the width tool in Illustrator CC. This tool works with all the um, CC and the previous versions of Illustrator. Um, so first off, we're going to get right into it. Um, as you can see, I've got this uh, little cute octopus guy here that I've done. And I'm going to show you how to try and recreate um, the tentacles. As you can see, um, the tentacles are usually thicker at the base, and as it, they go to the end of the tentacle, it's uh, thinner. So we're going to try and do that today. So I'm just going to shift over to the next artboard. And to access the width tool, uh, I'll show you on the left here. It's a little bowl thing with three points and width tool, or you can press Shift W. And when you press Shift W, you can see on your mouse, it's got a little squiggly line. So that means it's activated. So to make the width tool work, you got to select a stroke. Um, it doesn't work on shapes, so you've got to have a stroke selected. I'm just going to ungroup those and get right into it. So you select the stroke and press Shift W. So what the width tool actually allows you to do is actually create, make the stroke more thicker or thinner. So what I'm going to do now is, as you can see, there's a white dot on it, and that means the width tool is activated, and it's like a little anchor point sort of thing. So what I'm going to do now is just click and drag, and as you can see, as I zoom out here, it's actually made that point thicker. And now it looks like an ice cream. <laughs> so I can also do it on the bottom and I can make this thicker as you can see, or I can make it thinner and make it pointy at the bottom. So it's really easy to do. All you gotta do is click and drag and you can make really cool shapes with that. So what else you can do? You don't have to do it on the anchor point. You can do it anywhere along the middle or along the stroke and what it's actually doing is it creates anchor points and you can always go back to those anchor points as you can see I got one here and one here and you can always resize it so if you just go to the end of the anchor point on the side you can see the white ball you can just drag and I can just always you can always go back and edit it if you don't like the thickness of the stroke so I can always go back and edit that like that really easily um, and you can make really abstract shapes. You can also move the anchor point as well. So if I select and go back to Shift W, I can, if you just grab it and move it up against the line, it's going to move the anchor point on the, on, on the actual stroke. So as you can see, and it's changing the width because it's moving it down and it tries to keep it proportional from the stroke so another thing you can do is if you select it and if you hold alt which is a cool trick it's actually going to only do the width on one side so as you can see you have control and just holding alt and just clicking and dragging again and you can create these really weird shapes and it's really awesome another thing to notice as well is um when you're dragging it, I'm not sure if you can see, but if you hold shift and you, you drag, it will try and keep the stroke proportional. So I'm going to um, not hold shift and I'm going to move this. And that's what it's going to look like without holding shift. But if I control Z and do it again, I'm going to hold shift now. And as you can see, it's sort of held its proportions to the width. So yeah, that's a, just another quick tr trick that you can do as well. So we're gonna jump right into it and try and recreate these tentacles. I'll try and do it really quick. I've just made these strokes using the pen tool. Um, and I'm just gonna go through and make the thickness. It's really cool because the width tool allows it um like it makes the whole line thick depending on where the anchor points are on the line. So if you only got two anchor points, more of the line is gonna be thickened. And if there's only like two anchor points at the ends, then the whole line will get thick. So it's always good to play around, have play around with um, adding more, you know, anchor points to the line. And I'll probably show you how to like do the pen tool and add anchor points maybe in another video. Um, but not right now. So you can also, what I've done is um, rounded off the ends of the tentacles. See... In the stroke palette on the right here, um, I've just selected a round cap, but you can also do a butt cap. 
as you can see, it's um, squared it off. But I like it being round because octopuses usually have a round <laughs> tentacle. So I'm just going to get that. Um, select it all, hold Alt, and drag it across to the little octopus, the half body. I'm going to make that a bit bigger. And then I'm just going to move it to the middle. And there we have it, guys. We have our cool little octopus with the tentacles that we made. Um, so it doesn't look the same, but you get what I'm saying. So, um, yeah, uh, appreciate Thanks for watching, guys. Um, let me know in the comments um, what you guys have done or if you have any questions. And appreciate it if you can um, like and subscribe. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you, guys.